Well, we've had to do something that we haven't done very often in history, and that is we are rescinding our top pick status for the newly released total wireless 100 gigabyte for $45 a month data plan. Because when we went to get the plan, we ran into a few problems. Details after the break. Hi, I'm Andy with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here with an update on Total Wireless and the recent rebranding and plan revamp they came out with that we reported on here on YouTube in a recent video as well as a article, companion article, that we have linked in the description below. Now, when this first came out, um, Total Wireless uh, changed a lot of stuff. To begin with, they rebranded from Total by Verizon back to Total Wireless, which was their original name, and they also revamped their plan lineup, and they added what looked to be, on paper at least, a very attractive data only plan option of 100 gigabytes of data on a data device for only $45 a month with auto pay. Uh, adding to this is that this uh, plan looked very attractive from a terms of service perspective. For example, although the plan uh, does come with a video throttle for uh, standard definition, uh, it does say that that can be turned off by calling customer support. Um, and there's some other features of this plan which make it uh, a very competitive with the other similar plans that are around that same amount of data of 100 gigabytes a month, both from Verizon as well as from the other carriers. However, it seems that with uh, all these changes at Total uh, Wireless, the uh, back-end and customer support elements as well as some of the information on the website may not be entirely accurate. Uh, when we went to order the plan, we ordered the BYOD SIM option, which means we bought the plan, we bought a SIM kit, and we thought initially, wrongly it turns out, that we would get an activated SIM with the plan on it that we could uh, use in a Verizon compatible device, but that is not how it works. Uh, how it actually works is if you order the plan and a SIM online is that they will send you a blank SIM that isn't activated, and then they're supposed to send you a service plan PIN code, basically a 15-digit number that uh, will allow you to activate on the plan that you've already paid for. However, when we ordered this plan, we did not receive one of those, either on a card or in the various emails we got from Total Wireless. And we spent about five hours trying to deal with customer service to get this activated and to validate our account and prove that we had paid for this plan. Uh, even though our account was good, the invoice and everything about the purchase was shown in the uh, planned details and terms. And eventually we just had to give up because we were not getting anywhere with customer service. So unfortunately, we had to uh, put a dispute on the uh, charge for the credit card to uh, pay for that. And we will be looking at getting the plan through alternative means to actually be able to evaluate it. Now, our experience was an extreme example. However, we have seen many other problems, both from our members as well as online from others who've had issues uh, getting the plan activated, as well as uh, some of the features of Total Wireless specifically. As noted before, the plan does not come activated on a SIM. You have to activate it, and to do that, you need the SIM card number, which when they send you a SIM, you'll have that. You need a valid IMEI number and that plan PIN code, or be able to purchase a plan at that point. Now, the IMEI number is, uh, we found out, is that it has to be an IMEI number that is in Verizon's activation database. Now, this database has a limited number of IMEIs that are authorized for activation, even though there are many Verizon compatible devices out there. Not all have been certified and are not all have been put into the activation database. And primarily, 
The ones that are not in the database are the kinds of gear that our audience cares about, which is mobile cellular embedded routers. Now we were able to find a couple of older peplink routers, such as with CAT12 uh, modems that we could activate, as well as tablets and Verizon branded hotspot devices. Uh, the newer uh, 5G uh, mobile uh, and cellular embedded routers, we had difficulty finding an IMEI that would be acceptable uh, to activate this plan on. So that's an important consideration that they do not tell you in the purchase process, at least on the website, that uh, you have to have that valid IMEI. There's a limited number of, of IMEIs uh, that you can use, and they're mainly going to be tablets and mobile hotspots and a few cellular embedded routers. Now, total wireless, they do have an IMEI checker on their uh, website, so you can go there and check your IMEI before purchasing to make sure that you'll be able to activate the plan on the device that you have on hand. And we encourage you to do that before spending the money to uh, purchase a plan up front. So we don't really know what's going on with Total Wireless. They seem to be very confused behind the scenes with all these changes in churn and their customer uh, support element has not really kept up with uh, what is going on, especially for the lesser known plans like data plans. Uh, bottom line is, is that we're going to pull our top pick uh, status for this plan for now, and we're going to continue to monitor and see if Total Wireless gets its act together. We hope that they are more clear on their website purchase process about how activation works. So that does it for now. We appreciate you watching. If you do like this content, please like and subscribe and check out our companion article that goes with this video and the early video, which has been updated with the uh, newest information if you want to dive in further. And if uh, Total Wireless does uh, get its act together and fixes this plan and honors all the terms of service and makes it easy to acquire, then we'll consider uh, adding our top pick status back onto the plan. So again, thanks for watching. We appreciate it. Stay connected and we'll see you next time. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.